Strategically, Heb's trying to develop a learning culture across the company. The problem really was that we wanted more people to take up the apprenticeship programs, and we saw that they weren't taking up that opportunity, and we recognised that in a lot of cases this was because they had a literacy and numeracy problem. We decided to do safer people communications and give them the opportunity to succeed at learning. So I suffer off a little bit of dyslexia. Spelling and writing for me is a bit impossible at times. Being able to take part in this course, I've actually learned tips and tricks on how to handle that. It was also good like around the paperwork aspect side of it, just giving me the confidence to not only fill it out, but also understand it and then communicate it better back to my managers and my teammates as well. So everyone that we put through the course can go into an apprenticeship or any other qualificational training that suits their role. And so we've had a 60% uptake of people go into their trade apprenticeships. That's just wonderful, it's just great. It's shown me that higher up is actually willing to upgrade us, upskill us. The quality of our work and the quality of our tradesmen just goes up all the time. Oh, it's really humbling. I've seen the individuals themselves shine and stand a bit taller and I've been delighted to see that affect their lives at work and outside of work. Oh, it's just great. It, it makes my heart sing and it's really why I'm in learning and development to just really see people be the best that they can be and give people the opportunity that they might never have had before.